Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage new National Marketing Director, Stephanie Taylor. <laughs> My goodness. Well, those um, confetti streamers went off a little early. Those are supposed to be for me. So that's a little embarrassing for Steven, but that's okay. Um, so I think we all kind of feel that theme and we hear hope a lot. Um, you know, it's such a simple word, four little letters, one syllable, but I think it just means the world to all of us. In Proverbs, it says, a hope delayed grieves the heart, but when a dream comes true, life is full and sweet, and definitely that's what it is for us right now, but there was a time where that was not where I was. When I was 19 years old, I held my mother as she took her final breath and left this world and went to be with Jesus after 10 long years of battling cancer, and in that moment, my hope was gone. My dreams were dashed because I never imagined a life without her. And so for 18 months, I just kind of bided my time until this angel of hope that stands behind me 20 years ago reached his hand out to me and said, nah, -uh, come on, you've got this. And he breathed hope into me. He pulled me up and he showed me that I could dream again. And when I didn't think I could, he dreamt for me and he pushed me in a direction. And that is priceless, y'all. And I have to do that for everyone else. When you are given that breath of hope from a pit of despair, you have to give it to others. And you know, hope is what brought every single one of you here today. And hope is the engine that is going to drive every single one of you to your dreams. For us, our dream that's coming true, stepping into this position with this company that is amazing, means that my husband can step away from the have to of life, the have to of punching the clock and corporate America and all of those things that are not really his passion, but he's made those sacrifices for us. He now gets to step into his place of hope and dreaming and come home and be with us and choose what he wants to do. He can step from the have to to the choose to. And all of us deserve that. We all deserve to choose, right? This is, this is your life. One shot. That's it. Not a dress rehearsal. So it's, it's time to get busy living in the choose and stepping away from the have to. But you know what the kryptonite of hope is, is fear, and it's a nasty liar. Fear breeds anxiety. And so when you're feeling fear and anxiety, kind of like I was behind stage there, <laughs> whew, um, you, gotta, you gotta grab onto that hand of hope that's reaching out to you. And I don't know what that looks like for you, but I can say for me, it starts first and foremost with my faith it starts with my husband and my children who give me hope every single day. My team, y'all, my team. I can't, I can't even start. I don't know how many days you have. <laughs> they breathe in so much hope into me, probably more than I could ever breathe into them. My sideline buddies that have believed in me, that have championed me this whole time. And the leadership of this company, my upline of Beth Leopold and Chris Strobes and Michael Heck and Gloria Cooper that have just said, you got this girl. They breathe that hope back in. So when you feel that fear and that anxiety creeping in, grab a hold of the hand that's reaching out for you. And then when you're filled with that hope, turn around and extend that hand to somebody else because that's what we are here to do. As a young child growing up, my mom would read words of, of hope and a future over me. And so I want to speak those words over y'all right now, and I pray that they bless you as they have blessed me my entire life. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, 
For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper and not to harm. Plans for hope and a future. I pray that each and every one of you will lean into that hope, that you will extend that hand to someone else and you will pull them up every single day to as many people as you can for as long as you can. Thank you all so much. <laughs>